Part Two, Verdant Wind, Harpstring Moon, The Golden Scheme. Claude leverages his victory at the Battle of Grande to secure reinforcements from Alliance Lords. Meanwhile, the Imperial Army continues to tighten its defenses at Fort Mercius in anticipation of an attack on the Imperial capital. I'm going to save that for later. Our objective is Envar, the Imperial capital. But our greatest obstacle lies before that. And what's that? Fort Mercius. If we can't pass through, we won't be able to reach Envar. Fort Mercius. The impregnable fortress, or so it's called. If I recall correctly, it's sometimes referred to as the stubborn old general. It is a massive fortress that was constructed to protect the Imperial capital. The Imperial army we defeated has withdrawn to Enbar. Fort Mercius should be short on soldiers for now. Uh, hmm. We should be careful because you never know what nasty surprises it would be best to take it before enemy reinforcements arrive. Still, there's a reason it's been called impregnable. The only real question is what our fearless leader intends to do. Sorry for the delay, everyone. Those muling lords kept me from leaving for quite some time. So, were you able to secure additional reinforcements? It's gonna have to wait until next month. It doesn't look like they can afford to keep supporting us at present. Then what should we do about Fort Mercius? Do you plan on waiting around? No. If we wait until next month, the enemy will have bolstered their defenses. That said, the prevailing theory is that you need triple your enemy's forces to take a fortress with a frontal assault. Right. That's what we were taught at the Academy. And this is Fort Mercius we're talking about. It's renowned for its strong defenses. Our current army isn't nearly strong enough. Hmm. What to do? Whatever you do, just don't ask us to scale those huge walls. We'd end up dead when they hurl rocks down at us. Yeah, no thanks. If only someone would open up the gates for us from the inside. Unfortunately, we don't have any spies in there. Wait a minute. I've got it. We sneak in, stir up confusion, and open the gates ourselves to let our allies in. Right, that's what I was saying all along. Right, nice one, Hilda. But how do you propose we go about sneaking in? I can't believe Ignatz was the one to call out Hilda like that. Oh, disguises? If we dress up like Imperial soldiers, maybe they'll think we're allies and let us in. Do you really think they'd just open the gates for us? I'd be pretty dumbfounded if that worked. No, no, she's on to something. It's a good idea, Hilda. We just need to refine it a bit, and we'll be in there before we know it. Really? Go me! What is your definition of refining the idea? I know your go-to strategy is nausea-inducing poison, but... Ugh, I maybe ate too much. My stomach hurts. Raphael, why are you eating meat during a war council? So, fearless leader, I'm guessing you're going to keep the crucial parts of your scheme under wraps until the time comes, aren't you? Uh, you know me so well, Judith. Whether we like it or not, this war puts a damper on all of our spirits. What's wrong with trying to have a little fun every now and again? Just leave the details to me. Can't believe Raphael's contribution was complaining about a stomach ache. Raphael, you're the best. All right, uh, what do we have here? Golden fish. Event. Okay. Fine. Let's see here. Uh, a lot of the people up on the second floor. I guess we'll start there. Hey, Cyril. Guess what I noticed? I can see further than most other people can see. Ah, uh, yes, but this one. I can't one. figure the point of seeing further than an arrow can fly, since I can't shoot what I see.
Oh, let's see. I mean, those are both valid uses of having good eyesight. Um. Yeah, I suppose it could be real useful for finding Lady Rhea, too. Thanks, Professor. I think I get it now. I'm going to put my eyes to real good use. Happy to help, Cyril. That is how you feeling. Fort Mercius is a keep that was constructed to defend the Imperial capital, Enbar. We cannot enter the capital without first capturing that fort. But once we have it, the city should be almost entirely at our mercy. Whatever strategy you have in mind, I have faith that it will lead to victory. All right. I suspected they seem to be supporting the Imperial Army now though I don't quite know who they are yet nor do I know what tricks they'll use against us next we can't afford to let our guard down oh yes they might even say they're the ones who uh, were slithering around in the dark the battle at Grander Field was gruesome wasn't it I guess but Perhaps it's irresponsible to look away, to close our eyes to the horrors of war. Um. Hmm. I say you don't have to force yourself, because war is some heavy shit. Thank you. But I think I do, actually. As survivors, we must ensure that all these lives were not lost in vain. We must see the tragic foundations upon which we'll build our future. May an age of peace rise from the ashes so that all this sacrifice means something. Uh, well, I guess when you're an active participant, then you're not. Voila. Each step closer to Enbar, I'm reminded of another part of my past. Riches and poverty, glory and failure. That city has it all. And if I'm honest, sometimes I miss it. That's how the past works, though, isn't it? It's always a different story than what you really lived. That's familiar. Hey, Hanneman. Fort Mercius is the Empire's single most fortified military installation. Utterly impregnable, they say. I wonder. Do you happen to know the nickname given to Fort Mercius? Stubborn old general, he already told me. Indeed, a very good answer. But of course, you'd know that. Seems Fodlands give everyone and everything a nickname. Why, you were called the Ashen Demon. Myself, I have been called the Father of Christology, which is a nickname as well as a title, I suppose. All right. Hilda's quite a tactician, disguising ourselves as enemy soldiers to sneak in undetected. A stroke of brilliance. With this strategy, we can really snatch victory from the jaws of deceit. <laughs> uh, that's a bad pun, Alois. Ah, rats. You've seen through my cunning punning. <laughs> Please tell Claude not to give us any more ridiculous orders. I've reached out through all of my channels, but there are limits to these things. I'll have to recruit an entire town's worth of people if I ever plan on making enough Imperial uniforms. So Shamir's the one who's making the uniforms? Yellow. I wonder how far we can get with this plan. Dressing up like Imperial soldiers to sneak in. Claude said it could use some refinement. Any ideas? Uh, well, we could dress you as the Emperor, Hilda. Dress me as Edelgard? But we look nothing alike. On second thought, let's...
Let's just stick to the plan as originally conceived. That seems safer. Surely there could be no consequences for uh, impersonating uh, the Emperor. Like that sweet owl feather. Odd. Each time we take a step forward, more blood is spilled. But by spilling that blood, we're able to take yet another step forward. War is always a cruel affair. But luckily, we have each other to lean on. We've steeled our hearts. We won't be broken. Oh, I'm glad we have such reliable allies. More. Without them, we could never have made it this far. Oh, and about taking the fort, I'll need a tad more time to prepare our plan. It's called an impregnable fortress for a reason, after all. My contingencies need contingencies this time, or we may not pull it off. Yeah, that's fair. Um... Let's see what Marianne and Catherine have to say. Marianne. I never used to care whether I lived or died, but after seeing so much death firsthand, I now realize how precious life truly is. I'm ashamed of how arrogant I was to think that death could mean so little. Marianne, please don't beat yourself up about it. Begging you. Uh, oh, Catherine's down at the southern end. All right. They recognize everyone. Their faces have changed so much. More experience in their eyes than in the pain. Catherine, you can't look happy when you're saying that. It's not allowed. I'm glad that they're stronger. But I hate to think they've all become hardened killers. Look after them, okay? Try to keep them on the straight and narrow. Um, who's next? Gatekeeper? Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Is it true that we'll be assaulting Fort Mercius next? That doesn't sound like the brightest idea. I've heard that it's built to withstand an attack from even the largest of armies. And not to tell you how to do your job, but don't do it. I'm not ready to say my final goodbyes to everyone. See, this is why everyone loves the Gatekeeper. Oh, I don't need to talk to Anna. Claude takes care of the strategy, you direct the troops, and the rest of us focus on the fighting. As long as the system keeps working, we can win any battle, no matter the odds. That's what everyone's saying, anyway. Hope you can keep up with our expectations, Professor. Oh, you bet I can. Alright, who's next? I've got Judith here. Ah, Professor, I have a question for you. Have you heard of the Death Knight? Yeah, I've only kicked his ass about four times. I'm referring to that Imperial General who has been operating under that moniker. Nothing is certain yet, but I get the feeling we'll have to face him soon enough. Hmm, I wonder if he's going to make an appearance at Fort Mercius like he always has. Uh, there's Raphael in line to get more food. You know when you work your muscles and they start screaming? That means you gotta be nice to them. If your muscles are hungry, you gotta feed them. And let them rest when they're tired. Uh, hmm. You can tell how your muscles are feeling? It's a bit of a dumb question, though. Lewis. What kind of professor are you? Of course. If my muscles hurt, then I hurt. If they're hungry, <laughs> well, then I'm hungry too. What's with the confused face, professor? You look like you don't get a word I'm saying. Really, I'm more confused that Oilus doesn't get it. Professor. Oh no, Flame. Standing face to face with those whom I went to school with on the field of battle. How inhuman war is. How horrifying. My heart feels shattered. It is my hope that this war marks the end of such foolish behavior. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Um...
but Lawrence. Fort Mercius is old and strong. Its reputation for durability is equal to that of Arian Road. Are we really going to leave this to Claude with a plan concocted by Hilda of all people? Oh yeah, we are, Lawrence. Have a little faith. God damn. I would like to, but I'm always troubled by how secretively that man devises his schemes. Let us hope the end result is not too outlandish. Buddy. You're supposed to be... a little better than this. I thought you'd grown as a person. Anyway, got a tournament. Advanced brawling. Who else to send but resident war master Raphael? to get a counter punch. body strength from Raphael is harsh enough. That's another one. It works in that uh, spinning back kick or whatever. That's how you know you're screwed. All right. I guess I'll do the HP restore just for the hell of it. Oh. An opponent who outspeeds Raphael. Who... Oh, thank you. Can't afford to lose. Oh. It's been to win, baby. to talk to. I guess I'll play counselor for a little bit. Just uh, out of habit. Maybe there's going to be a new thing in there. Animan. Uh, this a uh, good question. I don't know what the right answer would be. It doesn't matter, but... Royal School of Sorcery? Huh? Oh well. To everyone... Yep, oh, okay. Then without further ado, uh, move on to the next section.